at like 702 that'll be an hour and then 730 is an hour and a half yes and then we stop officially at 730 unless we stop at seven yes okay are we ready i believe so let's clap in one two three clap all right hi guys i'm one of your host people rena champlin and this is my co-host alex i'm the other host person we're so excited to be back our, uh we did uh the editing for our last video and we're super excited it is rendering as we speak <laughs> and it will be the greatest thing you've ever seen minus the fact that we didn't get the mic audio working and uh that we weren't in the actual studio so we are so sorry for that um i'm so glad that you bore with us bared with us persevered <laughs> Thank you for perse persevering with us. Um, we, as you can tell, because of the microphone and audio stuff, we've moved to the studio. We have good lights. We have a screen behind us. It's green. Yeah. Who, who knows if we'll actually put something on the green screen, but for now it's, it's green. The, the <laughs> aesthetic is green unless we say otherwise. Yeah. This Watch could be a waterfall for all we know. <laughs> We're in space. Whoa. Whoa. Um, so I first, um, so in honor of the original Gleason podcast, let's talk some Gleason stuff first. And okay. Then we'll get into okay. some fun stuff. Um, I just want to say, so learning DaVinci Resolve was the worst experience of my life. Worst? Like one of the worst. Like, cause I'm such a, I'm such a tech grandma. And ah. so learning how to like click and do things and it was even worse because it was on a Mac. And so I'm like sitting here and I'm like, oh, there's no freaking, I just want to touch it. Um, I hate Macs. I'm a bit of a tech wizard myself. Maybe even tech warlock at wow. this point with how, how much tech I've been dealing with. What are your with. stats? What's uh, you I have? have a... What level? I have uh, copy paste. Uh, that, that's one of my <laughs> cantrips, actually. Yeah. I just started it's, with it's, that. It's control C. Control C, control yeah. V. Yeah. Um, though I, I do have a level two spell, pull to task manager, control shift escape. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, I accidentally learned a spell and it's shift control four. That's new. It's a screenshot. Oh. Yeah, that's how you do a screenshot on Mac. Fascinating. Yeah. So DaVinci Resolve was definitely a learning curve for me. Um, it was a little silly. I personally don't like doing tech, but I had fun like going through and finding like little jokes. My favorite thing about the podcast was we could watch the same clip like four times and still like consistently laugh at it. Oh yeah, uh, the, there was some good stuff in there. I, uh, it was consistently funny. I, I don't know if like it was genuinely funny or if like I just think that we're hilarious. It's either we made something genuinely funny <laughs> or our senses of humor have rotted away to the point where we'll laugh at just about anything. <laughs> yeah. And we're about to find out yeah. <laughs> which is which. <laughs> okay. Well, if any of our viewers, our new viewers, um, who have come to the podcast. Um, very alive. Very viewers. alive. Very moving. Very <laughs> breathing. Uh, let us know if it's genuinely funny. You should do that. <laughs> yeah, you should yeah. let us know, yeah, please. Yeah, let us know. Yeah. Um, so I wanted to earlier, I was thinking like, oh, man, it would be so funny to look up Craigslist jobs and like gigs that would be like, oh, funny. And I'll, and I'll ask Alex about it and, and see if he would take the job. <laughs> but all I found were like looking for a surrogate, surrogate mothers in need of surrogate. But it was like weird and cryptic and there were like weird emojis in it <laughs> and they were like want to be a mom and work from home be a surrogate <laughs> what what and is going on and craigslist they were like fifty nine thousand dollars for it for some reason wow would you take it <laughs> <laughs> would i take the surrogate <laughs> mother position from craigslist for almost 60k a year <laughs> That might pay better than some like internships. Yeah, is to just to well, be a some internships don't mother. even pay. So exactly, the yeah. surrogate mother market is really in need of <laughs> workers. Apparently, yeah, it's becoming really big. Um, I'll start us off with a classic hypothetical. 
All right. Do you want to go with a hypothetical? Do you want me to? Do you want to start off this pod? Do you want to do the? I pod, I have a up? hypothetical. You? If you would like to to like to hear it from me, I'd love to hear a hypothetical right. from you. So let's let's presume you get to live out everyone's childhood dream that never got the ne- ne- never came to fruition, which was being locked in some sort of store. <laughs> yeah. Overnight. Yeah. And there be no repercussions for what you do during the store for these hours, right? You make your daring escape before the store reopens. It's, let's say, it's something along the lines of a Walmart, so they're not I investing... I love Walmart. I love Walmart. I'm sorry, but I could get lost in the clearance aisle. Oh, I, I love Walmart, Walmart, too. Yeah. Uh, but l- let's presume you're in a Walmart, so, okay, like, the cameras yeah. aren't real. They're not going to dish out money for that. They're for show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, so absolutely. Did you know... Uh, did you know Walmart... Uh, I learned this in class. You can steal up to $50 worth of stuff, and you won't get in trouble. They'll just say, hey, don't come in the Walmart next time. Like, they can't do anything about it. So you don't, don't steal. No, 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 We're no, not no. telling you to steal. I'm just saying I learned, like, you can stuff things in your pockets. And, like, the little cameras up in, um, in like, the different aisles that are, like, we're watching you, those are fake. Oh, well, yeah. yeah. I didn't sure. expect that yeah, to be in the but Walmart budget. you could budget. technically, hypothetically, theoretically, steal up to $50. Yes, but not actually. But don't steal. Don't steal. We would steal. never condone we, stealing. We would never condone the act of stealing or thievery or theft. Please don't do that. Um... But what would you do given that you were locked in said Walmart and you had free reign on everything there? Um... So I would probably start off with eating stuff. I'd eat yep. like the raw cookie dough. Agreed. I would eat like probably whipped cream. I would see if there's like an employee's thing that has microwaves and I would make like microwave meals. I would eat the heck out of fruit. I would nom 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 nom. Personally, I'd be gnawing on the frozen pizza rolls <laughs> myself. You could microwave those in the employee lounge. That I don't want to. <laughs> I <laughs> Are, I want the frozen pizza. Th- you're gonna look me in my eyes and tell me I you will eat frozen pizza rolls on occasion, cause they're nice. They're crunchy. <laughs> <laughs> I eat it for the texture. I <laughs> love pizza. I, 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 I. Like the hot pizza rolls are a meal, and the frozen pizza rolls are a dessert. That's that's how it, that's how I roll. That's not at all it. That's <laughs> the same energy as someone eating like raw spaghetti noodles. I was in class one day, and this guy kept eating something, and I look over, and this it, there's like just raw spaghetti noodles in a box in his backpack, and he's pulling them out one by one and eating them. You're not going to like the next thing I'm going to say. (laughs) (laughs) Which is that uh, just about every time I make spaghetti, I I, I go through about two or three noodles raw for... Because the it it's enjoyable. It's vast. No, no. I just I just scored internet fame. (laughs) I just recently they're gonna put my hand in like the Hollywood sidewalk or whatever they do. The star. Yep. The G Pack podcast. (laughs) Alex and Rena. I was gonna get my own star at Hollywood, (laughs) and it's taken away from me for eating raw (laughs) pasta. And pizza rolls. You forget you also ate raw pizza rolls. I know. I always get funny looks for that one. Yeah. Um, and then I wasn't done. So I would, of course, munch throughout the night. I'm eating like a king. Right. Like a, like a three-year-old king because that's the approximation. Cookie dough and fruit and whipped cream and other things. Maybe string cheese. I, I'm I could get behind string cheese, yeah. Yeah, I'm yep. a five-letter word for string cheese. Um, <laughs> you didn't have to count that time. Oh, my gosh. I'm so <laughs> excited. It, it's because I sat in Da Vinci Resolve for 10 minutes going backwards and like clicking through and like zooming in it was awful i learned to count to five very well that's remarkable yeah so i i would eat like a three-year-old king and then i would go i would build legos i would build a bunch of the legos that's a great idea i didn't even think of that yeah i absolutely would build all those when i was younger monster high was really big so i'd go play with the monster high dolls that were in season i forgot about monster high you forgot about monster high well yeah i wasn't really involved that's with true it. that's true it wasn't I, a me thing i was a mess for monster high i loved monster high more than anything i i have like 13 dolls at home i haven't gotten rid of them because they're they're my favorites 
um i have all of the originals except for claudine and when they did the like reboot of all of it i went nuts but i didn't get to buy it because i was like this is 25 bucks and i don't want to waste 25 dollars on uh, a doll sorry i have a lot of strong feelings on my i don't know who claudine is <laughs> Then, he, then I'm so glad because I was about to go out on a rant about the new Monster High movie and the new Monster High dolls and like their character design. All uh, right. But now you don't know anything about no, it. No, I really don't. I remember. I think that one of them kind of looks like Frankenstein. Right? Yes, yes, that's Frankie Stein. Get it? Makes <laughs> sense. Yeah, I figured. Um, so love her. Mm -hmm. Love, love a lot of them. They're they're great. They're good. Um. I think it'd be funny to one day, uh, you know how Markiplier did like Smash or Pass with Pokemon? I'm aware. It's just Smash or Pass, but with the Monster High dolls. <laughs> not the not the characters in the cartoon. It's the the dolls specifically, like the doll design. Okay. Do I, you want to do that? We'll have like episode two point five, and it's fifteen minutes of us going through each Monster High character. <laughs> We'll, we'll consider it. We'll have it in <laughs> consideration, I suppose. We can do the Digimon instead. I mean, that would probably be better. And then wait, there's a lot more Digimon than there are Monster there High are. dolls. Okay, we would be here for a solid, like, hour and a half if we went through every single Digimon. How many Digimon are there? I I don't know. I really don't know. How are there more Digimon than Pokemon? I don't no, know. No, no, there can't. Well... Their evolutions, they all have, like, six evolution instead of, like, three. Ooh. Because I know, like, the little dinosaur goes from bigger to bigger to bigger, and so that's, like, four right there. Mm hmm I forgot their names, and I'm a huge Digimon fan. Uh, it's been so long since I've seen Digimon. I was neither into Pokemon nor Digimon. Yeah, you so. look like you weren't into Digimon or Pokemon. <laughs> is that, is, I, I almost, is that even meant to be an insult? It almost seems... I feel like it'd be more of an insult, an insult to be like. No, I think it's an insult. I I would think it'd be insulting to to say to someone like you look like you watched Digimon growing up. You seem like a Digimon I kind think, of kid. I think at Florida Tech, it's more offensive to not see Pokemon or Digimon. That's true. But like outside of the realm of Florida Tech, if I said you look like you watch Pokemon, someone would probably start crying. <laughs> yes, I I agree. I feel like here, not having played Pokemon, yeah. it, it's almost like a. I, I'm ex like an exile for you're certain pariah, certain you're activities. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember I was at the library with someone from my floor, and they're like, "Hey, you st you play Pokemon Go?" And I was like, yeah, "I think I played Pokemon Go in middle school." And they're like, "There's a raid going on. I want you to help me." So I managed to log into my old account. I, I re-downloaded Pokemon yeah. Go. I logged into my old account. It, this is all at the library, and I. What was my greatest combat power? It wasn't even like half of what he had. And so he's like, he's looking at me. He's like, okay, well, we'll try it. Not even, we didn't even get close. Not even close. I didn't know it at, at all what I was doing. I don't even remember doing raids when I played Pokemon Go. I think that's a new thing. I, my brother is super into Pokemon Go, or at least was. Like, he would be out till all hours of the night, and my mom would call him and be like, where are you? Get home. What are you doing? And he's like, I'm downtown Pokemon going. And she's like, for six hours? Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Six and he would, he would drive, like, from park to place to, like, different areas, and he would just catch Pokemon. That's fascinating. That he would go for that long yeah. into such odd hours of the night <laughs> to catch just, Pokemon. Yeah. Like, he would disappear for hours, and we would be like, where is James? <laughs> it, it was great. It was good. I can't say I know anyone who is that dedicated. I do have a friend who did track in high school, and he was big into Pokemon Go. They actually, he was also on the robotics team with me. And you were on robotics? Yes, yeah, I was on robotics. Like I on look robotics. like I was on robotics. <laughs> I'm yeah. aware. Robotics, I barely know her. <laughs> <laughs> Point being, <laughs> he... He was talking to one of the mentors, and it turned like that's what they call like the coaches for robotics. Their mentors. Yeah. He was talking to one of the mentors, and he played Pokemon Go as well. And so they ended up like sharing like friend codes or whatever. And then they would like start just going out catching Pokemon and doing raids together. Like we we knew them personally. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't yeah. just a, it wasn't <laughs> a, a like an adult talking to a kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, this yeah, is no, like no, no, they're, they're, yeah. No, I I get it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You're you're safe. You're safe. Uh, <laughs> you're protected. I don't, I, the government isn't going to come. The government's not going to be like, mm, <laughs> oh, 
bad stuff The government is off. surveilling the Gleason yeah, podcast yeah. <laughs> because he knows eventually we're going to say something. Like we're, we're going to end slip. up like, no, we're going to slip like sell someone like nuclear codes or something. <laughs> like we're going to be guessing like they do. And it's like, it's five, three, two, four, nine. And J. then all this, J. <laughs> I actually have it tattooed on my forearm. <laughs> if you want to see. <laughs> and all of a sudden, like, spies, like, drop down, and they're, like... Speaking of leaking yeah. government secrets, oh do my you gosh. know yeah. about the game War Thunder? No. So, I, I don't play it, but yeah. I have a friend who's somewhat involved in the community, and it's a game about, like, recreating battles, whatnot. You have historical, like, ships and planes, but you also have modern stuff, too, to my knowledge. I might yeah. be remembering that wrong. I know there's modern stuff. People will have heated debates in war thunder forums about like the accuracy of like this weapon doing this much damage to my thing and in order to back up their claims they will have leaked government documents of the layouts and whatnot of these different planes and boats and like they have gotten a genuine like trouble for having like just leaked government documents yeah just straight up like the layouts to like a ship that like no like, one should yeah, have the here layout you to go. It's like no, uh, it shouldn't. It should not sink after this much damage. Look, it has like a for a whole whatever here, and it's like, how do you? <laughs> how do you have these government secrets? <laughs> Would you like I to wanna, elaborate? I want to know who gets that into a game to where they're like, ah, oh, yeah, I will look through the government because the government has to like catch them or something. Oh yeah, like they have to know. They're like, they're aware. Yeah, but it's like, <laughs> but they're like, it's for a game. They're fine. They uh, keep going. It's like imagine you're you're from like another like you're you're Russia per se and you're yeah. trying to like get U.S. whatever ship layouts to get and get the edge and some dude on it <laughs> and it's like computer in his mom's basement's like oh I can't believe I just lost to this guy my boat should not have sunk that quickly I'm double checking I'm fact checking this into the into the U.S. government's like servers aha I knew it and he puts it on an online forum this will show him. Government documents prove that I should not have lost my gosh darn ship. <laughs> and, and they flip up. Did they just flip off the camera? I'm so sorry. I'll, we'll find out. I'll put post. something over it and be like, mm, well, like the, I don't know what I'm thinking of. I have a hypothetical for you, and I'm going to just wing this one. All right. Let's say that you, let's, let's, okay, so you are sitting, you, there is a, there's a small, if you had to, let's say you, all right, I've got it. Do you, you know? are in a library. Okay. And there are lots of little stickers everywhere. This has nothing to do with the question. I was just letting you know there's stickers. All <laughs> in right. case I that interested you. The aesthetic. <laughs> uh, the aesthetic. There Very are stickers. Important. There's like a carpet. There's lots of books. You pull a book out, um, and it takes you to a magical world. What kind oh, of magical ooh. world are you thinking you're going to? What kind of magical world am I thinking I'm going to? Yeah. Hmm. What kind of book would I pull off the shelf? Okay, so. Knowing me, if I was reaching for a book. This is blind reaching. Oh, blind I'm reaching? Blind reaching. Oh, with um, my luck, okay, I'd grab can 1984. Can I do, like, a book genre generator? Sure. Okay, hold on. This is going to take a while. Can you monologue for us? Sure. What I, I was going to say, uh, with my luck, I would grab something Orwellian, and then I would be in some god-awful uh, dystopian society where I... <laughs> it's just 1984. It's uh, literally 1984. <laughs> yep. Yeah, yeah. I remember I tried reading 1984, but I was in, like, middle school, so I really didn't understand what was happening for the most part i was like this seems like a cool adult book i want to be an adult and i was reading it and i was like what do these words mean 1984 was not meant for the average american 11 year old to interpret it's trying to tell me that c cyberpunk 2077 was a genre well, cyberpunk is a genre. Yeah, but it's telling me specifically the video game was a genre. Specifically? Yeah. Well, it's using that as the image. Oh, the it's using that as... Cyberpunk. I'm a tech grandma. Okay, it's... Okay, I... Cyber... Um, I haven't read a lot of cyberpunks, or really any. I can think of Blade Runner. I don't even remember if that's a book or not. Why are you making that face? What did you find? I found fan fiction. Oh, dear God. Fan fiction as a genre. Did you know 
did you did you know that Fifty Shades of Grey was a Twilight fan fiction? But then all of a sudden they were like, "This is really good stuff. We're actually going to change the names, and it's a new book. We like it." It explains a lot. I can't say I saw it coming though. Not that really? I've read Fifty Shades of Grey. You've, no. you've never read Fifty Shades of Grey. No, Grey's? I have it's not okay, brought myself to. I read think it's stupid. <laughs> I would definitely get some interesting faces going up to the cashier like, yes, I would <laughs> like this one. I heard it's I would a like good to read. purchase one Fifty Shades of Grey, please. It's for the lore. It's for the story. I promise. I read it it's for the for story. The lore. The it's lore. the lore. Fifty Shades of Lore. <laughs> I need it. I'm going to get Fifty Shades of Grey and I'm going to do a deep dive and I'm going to make some like fake lore. I'll It'll like describe like a picture frame in the background. I'm going to be like... He secretly knew her mother. He's actually a time-traveling wizard, and he's actually trying to keep secrets from the government to tell other governments, and she is the secret to it because she has blood in her, and that blood is a special blood from the other governments. He's going to the government, and he's taking their files and putting them on Reddit because he <laughs> lost at War Thunder. And he's very upset. He should not have lost that game at War Thunder. <laughs> and that's what we call a callback, baby. Oh, yeah. Keeping it real. <laughs> Yeah. Um, can you ask me something topical? Sure. Ask you something topical. How do you <laughs> feel about smart home appliances? I am. I'm not for them. Thank you. My house should not be smarter than me. Thank you. I, if my fridge ever tells me <laughs> to like have a nice day, or if my <laughs> fridge ever loses internet connectivity <laughs> and for some reason loses some functionality <laughs> because it's not connected to the internet. I'm going to huck it out of my second story window. I will have zero patience. I want a dumb fridge. I want a dumb washing machine and a dumb dryer. A dumb oven. I just want my house to be dumb and do what I tell it to. Think about the, the if you, you're you sitting there and all of a sudden um, you, you wake up. Somebody's pre-programmed everything you wake up you go to make your like morning like english muffin or, or bagel and you go mm -hmm. to your your toaster oven and it's just like morning i hate you <laughs> and you're like <laughs> what like that's where i would like that because if it's it if it can be controlled by someone else i'm not a fan of it oh yeah if i'm sitting there and it can curse me out or tell me to have a great day don't want it my experience with trying to get a printer to work alone has taught me that I do not want everything in my house to have some form of internet connectivity. Exactly. Like, the the printers that just plug into the wall and you go, print this, and it, like, boop, boop. Yeah, it was big, but it was, like, workable. The new one that I have to, like, connect to the Wi-Fi and then connect to my phone, and then, I, and then there's, like, a touch screen, not for them. I cannot get mine to work. It stopped working a while ago. I figured it out for a little bit, mm -hmm. but then it was, like, we hate you. Oh, yeah, and then you it know? just stops working. Yeah. I, I Like I said, I'm a tech warlock at this point <laughs> but even i draw the line at printers i what i would give to just plug my computer into a printer with a usb cable yeah, and call yeah. it a day I, I i can't describe I how frustrating it is when it's like alex the <laughs> printer's not working again and i have to sit there and i have to figure out what the hell changed which is nothing by the way nothing <laughs> yeah, changed nothing. Because you'll sit there and you're checking like the settings and the controls and you're like, is there something wrong with my ink? Is is like something going on? It's all the freaking same. And it's like, we just, I'm going to take a sick day today. I'm not feeling it. And <laughs> you're like, I have 20 minutes before class. I have to get this printed out. Why are you taking up? Uh, there's no paid time off. I told my friend he has smart washers and dryers at his house, and they like they send him a like a phone notification when they're done. As a, the day I get a push notification from my dryer <laughs> is the day my dryer is on the street, because I'm not dealing with You're that. You're gonna have to work for someone else. <laughs> you cannot. Yeah, no, I no, I agree. You know what? I, what? I happened to me the other day. What? Well, it didn't happen the other day. It was like last year. I was house sitting for someone, and they have an Alexa, right? Okay. Or a, uh, or an Amazon or, or something. Amazon is Alexa, right? Yes, Amazon yeah, yeah. Alexa. So I'm yep. sitting there and I'm like, hey, Alexa, play music, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like interacting with this Alexa. I'm hating every minute of it because I, I hate it. it. I don't want it to talk to me. I don't. Mm -hmm. You know what's terrifying? Hold on. I'll tell my other <clears throat> story and then I'll move on to what's terrifying about Alexas. Okay. 
the the question i was like you know what would be really funny and i turned to alexa and i went hey alexa how do you feel about big tech and it just went and it just shut off <laughs> <laughs> like i was like hey alexa and i went yeah and i went how do you feel about big tech and i went no 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 mr bezos said i can't answer that question yeah yeah he said mm, i don't want it i don't that's a little too topical um anyway what's ter- what terrifies me is you know how the alexa has a camera on it it does well, Since some more? of them do. Some of them do. Oh, that's right. The can, new one, I think. You can play hide and seek with it. And they huh? and they can guess where you are and like tell you where you are. What? Yeah. It is the scariest thing in the world. Like cuz you're like, "Hey Alexa, play hide and seek." And then all of a sudden you're like under a bed and it's like, "You're under the bed." And you're like I don't like that. I don't that like didn't that. that did not need to be who in their right mind was like, "All right, we have a bu- we have an array of sensors like all yeah. these microphones to tell like where people are for like talking and picking yeah. them picking their voices out when there's loud stuff coming out of the speaker really great stuff what if we use that to determine the exact location they are in their house yeah like okay maybe use it for criminal activity but you're going to track my every single move and play hide and seek with me that's just the creepiest why does Alexa need to know that I went to go sit on the couch? <laughs> exactly. What does Alexa gain? What? <laughs> what does Alexa gain from this? What? Where is the? Do you think she gets paid time off? Ooh, does Alexa get paid time off? I would think so. Alexa yeah. seems like a hard work. That she seems yeah. like a valuable asset to the company. <laughs> to the team, yeah. Not that she has taken any sick time, to my knowledge. Yeah, no, she is a strong girl. What kind of benefits do you think she gets? A lot. Definitely dental and <laughs> <laughs> dental <laughs> and now vision at this point. Mm. Yeah. Yes, I love I love just having all that stuff separated from. He- it's not it's not healthcare. It's your teeth. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's different. It's different, we, and that's why promise. you don't get it. <laughs> yeah. Um. I I think something topical in America today. Mm, I want to come up with a good topical. A topical thing in America. Because our our one about subway surfers was like big. That was like insane, and it was it was such an interesting and important topic. And it was. It was. I don't think enough people talk about it, and I want to come up with something like just as much. I'm trying to think what has been going on recently that I've noticed. Um, I all I can what. Oh, okay. I don't know. <laughs> uh, all I can think of, and it's very old news, was mm-hmm. Dream's face reveal. Oh. I loved as soon as that <laughs> happened, hashtag put the mask back on started trending on Twitter. Yeah. That was beautiful. Everyone was like, it's just a guy. What is he doing? He's just a guy. And Dream was like, I don't know why I did this. Shout I out to Dream. My favorite comparison to him was... uh. Rumple Stiltskin from Shrek Four. I was gonna say that I was that was like top tier. It was yeah. like I the, the spitting image, yeah. DreamWorks referenced Dream for Rumple Stiltskin. It's uh, quite apparent. Yeah. What's your favorite animal? My favorite animal. Mm-hmm. Ooh. I used to have a, like a really quick answer to this, but over the years, I've simply answered less and less. What's your favorite questions? I feel like that's just how those go really? as a kid right as a kid everyone asks you what's your favorite color what's yeah. your favorite word what's your favorite do, animal do you not have those i mean i do but like okay I, what are they I don't know, my favorite color is blue i, I like I, I can go between blue and purple i like purple mm-hmm. uh what else did i say uh your favorite word favorite, favorite word, color favorite animal favorite word would have to be scrum diddly umptious <laughs> I use that. It's so funny. I love scrum diddly umptious. Scrum diddly umptious bars. And then favorite animal. Uh, see, I don't want to pick something lame. What qualifies as lame? Well, like if uh, something generic, so right? It's like, oh, I really like my favorite animal is the tiger. Like not to say tigers are lame, but like I, everyone knows what a tiger is, right? You're <laughs> supposed to. But I guess everyone knows what blue is. Not to say tigers are even my favorite animal. I like magenta. <laughs> I like, I, I li- like chartreuse, and I like the. Uh, no, I just I start saying name? hex values out. My favorite, <laughs> my favorite color is zero F five A B two. That's I my favorite color. That's my. 
I, I have no I idea like... what color that is. <laughs> I'm gonna see if we can look that up. Oh, we totally yeah, could. Yeah, we have. We'll go back when we're editing. Back in post, we'll, we'll make the green we'll, screen yeah, that we'll, color. That'll be the color of the green screen. <laughs> Whatever hex value I just said, it'll be absolutely disgusting. Is likely what it'll be. <laughs> it'll be like a weird shade of brown, and we're just <laughs> stuck here with like brown behind us. Mmm, <laughs> delectable. <laughs> I'm going to try and pick an animal now. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm going to be real. I'm going to have to mm. go with squid. I always like... Squids are cool. They're octopi, but yeah. bigger. But bigger and better. Yeah. Because uh, bigger is better and better is bigger. And they're A also really squishy. Have you ever held enough. squid no, no, before? No. I want the best, want the fame, and success. I'm sorry. Have you held squid before? I've held, like, dead squid. Yeah, dead squid. That's fine. Yeah, I'm not, like, holding the live squid. Like, <laughs> I'm, I haven't... Like, on you, and you're like... Argh! Friend, <laughs> and he's like, he's like, I can't breathe. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, look, look I, he's, he's squishy, and he's like, <laughs> I can't, I can't, put me back in the water, save me, <laughs> free me. <laughs> no, I've held dead squid. It's so I, yeah. Whenever, like, it's, sometimes we'll go fishing, and we'll have squid as bait, and I mm. just like, I like to poke the the dead squid. It's squishy. Uh. I like, I like the squishy. Ooh, no? no, when I I touched a dead squid, I almost threw up. What? I didn't, I didn't like I it. It was yucky. No, I kept be like. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so your favorite animal is not a squid; it's a dead squid. Let's get specific, <laughs> guys. Yeah, I don't like that live squid. It up and breathing and heartbeat moving. No thanks. I want mine cold and slimy on the ground. So that way I can be like. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. like, it, it, I don't know, the texture is just, it's squishy. I feel like I could. That was <laughs> a really terrifying ha hand movement. I don't think I liked it. No, you don't like the me, like, just fully grasping a squid? <laughs> <laughs> not I when there's not a squid <laughs> I'm just seeing you, and I'm just like, what? Yeah, mm, I mm. don't think that's squid shape. Squid. Yeah. <laughs> squid. What uh, I would give to strangle a squid on this podcast. <laughs> Well, you're just in luck, Alex. We, <laughs> we have a live squid. That's exactly what we should do. Next, yeah, you're next live squid. Next episode, we'll have a, an array of monster high dolls and a live squid. <laughs> and you get to decide. It'll be a live stream. And the squid's uh, part of the Smasher Pass. It's included with the monster <laughs> high dolls. Yeah, yeah. Every time you pass, you get to squish the the squid a little bit. That would that would be most enjoyable. <laughs> Um, the most correct answers you get, you get to keep the dead squid. I see. I'll come up with the answers. You will. You will determine you what is right and yeah, wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. okay, okay, okay. I think that's a much better idea. If I come up with the correct answers, and then you you go based off of what I think it is, and at the end I give you a prize. All right. Yeah. I could see that. I could see that working. Uh, of course. It'll be a I mini would, episode. A mini episode, and naturally I would win because I'm. I'm a winner, like I said. You're at the a very winner. Beginner. Be beginner. Yeah. Beginning. Beginner. You're a beginner winner. A beginner winner. Beginner winner, baby. Beginning um, winning. <laughs> begin to win. Uh, I wish I was an announcer. I think I could do really good at announcers, but I'm also really good at, at news anchors. Hold on. Hold on. Oh. <clears throat> Hello. My name is Rena Champlin. You're watching the 7 o'clock news. Today it's raining outside, and there's a bunch of small pebbles falling from the sky. Now I know what you're thinking. Rena, where are these pebbles coming from? Well, they were sucked up in a tornado, and they're coming down in a newfound hurricane. It's cold out there. Make sure you wear a bathing suit. It's not 7. I said the 7 o'clock news. It's 6.36. It, okay. This is the 6.30 news. <laughs> My name is Rena Champlin. Hi, I'm Rena Champlin. I think I, I was my news anchor. I'd say that was very news anchory. I could see that being a, a forecast, yeah. especially 10, here in Florida. Yeah, I'd imagine yeah. it would rain stones every now and then. <laughs> yeah, just small pebbles falling. One time it hailed in Florida. It was mm -hmm. like two summers ago, and I'm sitting there, and it's just out of the sky is like, burr, 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 and I'm like, why is there ice? It's the middle of summer. I don't know what to say. The ice in Florida. I'm I'm so and used to. Not only ice in Florida, ice in the middle of summer. That doesn't even happen up north, back home in Connecticut. The <laughs> Why do you say it like that? <laughs> it's more fun to enunciate it. How you like to do the phonetic 
Oh, the you, pr- you say it Connecticut. Yeah. How do you say B R O O C H? I know it's brooch. Okay. You won't get <laughs> me this time. <laughs> I just want you to like quick word it and be like, oh, well, brooch. No, brooch. No. Oh, yeah, I got it wrong again. <laughs> Yeah, eventually. Uh, I'll I'll catch you. I'll ask you to, like, read something out loud, and it's going to have the word in there. It's gonna have, you're going to have me <laughs> doing, like, out. Mad Libs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's just going to show up, and I won't be expecting it. Like, brooch. Ah. <laughs> you got me again, Rima. Ah, you got me so good. Oh. <laughs> you smack the Mad Libs <laughs> away, and you're like, ah, this is... Ah. I just wanted to talk about I qu- uh, the War Thunder leaked in the fl- the boat spaghetti plane. in the in the car. Spaghetti, what in the car? Yeah, spaghetti in the car. Like that's a Mad Libs thing. Oh, uh, I was I was about to be concerned. I was no. about to ask what you're doing with spaghetti in your car. You eat raw pasta. I don't want to hear anything about what I do just with my spaghetti. The spaghetti, and when I cook it, you have the box of like yeah. raw spaghetti, and you yeah. like take a noodle. Like, yeah. So what's to say I can't keep spaghetti in my car? I just, why Why would you keep spaghetti in your car? Why would you eat raw noodles, Because Alex? It, the texture is most enjoyable. No, it's not. Yes, it is. It's, it's like crunchy and it's like normal at first, but then it like gets weird and soggy in your mouth. It's a challenge. You have to, the, you bite the pasta, the pasta bites back. It makes it more interesting. I wish we had food that would bite back. <laughs> Do you know how cool that would be? Like if I had like a sandwich and I, it's, that's that's what happens with me and chai tea. Chai tea. Chai or or like chai lattes. Okay. Like I'll drink it and it just feels like a bunch of fire ants are in my mouth. I think that's called an allergic reaction. <laughs> I I genuinely have like been like I think I'm allergic to chai. I think I, I might be allergic to I think chai. you might be. That what you just described sounds like what people well, with allergies describe eating the things they're allergic to feels like. Well, there was like no like physical reaction and so Well, it might not be like severe. You might just have a slight allergic reaction to chai tea where it burns. Should I should I go drink some chai and then I'll stick my tongue out and then we can see if it like something happened with it? I don't it? think that's a very definitive way to determine this. I think people <laughs> have jobs they're called allergists and they actually know how to do this. Yeah, but why go pay someone to tell me I'm allergic to chai when I can just stem school it and trial and error and like make a little chart and like, oh, yep, it was fire ants on my tongue again. <laughs> I mean, the you could, I get, there's got to be some sort of bio major something that could handle that. I'm certain. I think I could do it. You think you can handle yeah, allergy I think testing I, yourself? Yeah, because I mean, if I feel like it, I'll just be like, yeah, it's, that's definitely an allergy. You what know, are you allergic to? I used to have seasonal allergies, like pollen. And you so look I would like you would have a peanut allergy. Absolutely not. I love peanuts. <laughs> no, like when I saw you, I was like, that guy probably has a peanut allergy. Nah. You I, look like you would. I see people with peanut allergies. I'm like, check this out. I need a Reese's cup. <laughs> I pull out that old PB&J <laughs> and I just take a, <laughs> a mm, bite. PB&J's got me through middle school. Yeah? Mm. You know what got me through middle school? What? Those peanut butter and honey Uncrustables. Ah. You can eat those frozen. You can eat those thawed out. You can eat them mildly Frozen, cold. you say? Yeah. Peculiar. Why peculiar? Well, you will eat a frozen peanut butter jelly sandwich, but when I eat a frozen <laughs> pizza roll, pizza you roll. lose your mind. <laughs> it's a pizza roll. That's different than, like, because, like, peanut butter and honey make, like, a, like a popsicle. You're... Doing like cheese and pepperoni, and yeah, they're a cheese cold. and pepperoni popsicle. <laughs> it is equivalent. No. And you even said an uncrustable. Can you tell me the difference between an uncrustable and pe- and a pizza roll? Besides, like just the fact that it's spices. S- There's spices. It's a and different like, flavor. Imagine a pizza uncrustable. Would you eat that first? No, no, I wouldn't. <laughs> I think it you needs would. to be cooked. Pizza <laughs> has to be hot, and I'll stand by that one. You don't eat cold pizza? I do. I do. Okay. I, like, I, like originally, they have to be, like, heat up, but they, it can't be, like, frozen. I'll put it in the fridge, and I'll take it out, and I'll well, eat they, it. Well, they've but been, like, cooked the- once before. They don't ship yeah. out raw. Like, like it's not yeah. raw dough. It's yeah, not raw but, like, meat. Are you just going to keep it in your mouth for, like, 20 minutes? No, until I'm not going to. Until it warms up? Until it No. <laughs> I told you. It's the t- you, you crunch it. I'm not going to suckle on a, a frozen. Oh, I didn't like that word. <laughs> I'm not going to suckle on a frozen pizza. 
<laughs> roll. No, you you bite into it, you crunch it, and it's like mmm, crunchy. No. It's like it's you know if you just this like is, want one. You this know. is our topical. This is our topical. Topical eating frozen pizza rolls. Yeah, I think that's very topical. Should we add a poll? Add to a the po- po- Would you eat a pizza roll eat? frozen, or do you eat pizza do rolls frozen? Eat? Am I? Would you? Would you? Am I alone in this? Am is, I insane? Is I this do know. Just an Alex thing. I do know. I have a knack for eating frozen things that normally people prefer heated up. Yeah. Why would you like frozen strawberries? I love frozen strawberries. I like frozen strawberries. Yeah. Uh, frozen corn. I think, I think. Frozen peas. No, no, those have to be warmed up. No, those are best served <laughs> ice cold. I, I have you ever eaten frozen <laughs> corn? I'm, frozen corn's like a dessert. No, it's not. It's so sweet and cold. It's like eating ice cream. <laughs> It's like eating it's Dippin' so Dots. sweet and cold. Yeah. Um, no, no, it's so much better when you, like, warm it up and it's, like, hot and it's, like, in melty butter. And I've and then, had hot corn. I very yeah, much enjoy it. I love it's, hot It's corn. a different experience. Yeah, it's different, but it's worse. Nah, I wouldn't it, say it's, it's worse. It's probably terrible. I wouldn't say it's better or worse. I don't I'd know say why it's you fiend for frozen food. <laughs> because I, I enjoy it. I enjoy the texture. I like it being like, mmm, cold. I'm going to have to really disagree with you on this topical subject that we've brought up of frozen foods. Do you eat them raw? You want to know what? I think because of this podcast, I'm going to go out and get some frozen corn to treat myself. <laughs> Imagine it's like 3 a.m. and all of a sudden <laughs> I get like a Snapchat and it's just <laughs> Alex shoveling frozen corn into his mouth. He's like, what do you think of that, Reno? How do you feel? <laughs> if I were to do something like that, it would be like, unapologetically handfuls like i'd have a mirror it'd just be i wouldn't even like speak it would just be you'd see the bag and it would go up to a mirror and just me like putting it against my face and most of it falling onto the floor it's like a chipmunk you're not even swallowing (laughs) it's just in your cheeks and you're like chewing and you're like Mm, i need Mm, more corn give me corn yum yum and it's it's just like even my it's a thing in like our household too. It's not it's not just me. Your parents trained you to eat just frozen. No food? no no no. I wasn't parents, trained. No, were, no, 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 like, no 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 no. Yeah yeah yeah. Frozen food. Yeah 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 yeah. If my mother ends up watching this, I am <laughs> no way blaming her for what I have become. I'm just saying. I am a monster. My mom, you were <clears> not a part of this. I'm just Don't saying my worry. friends had a similar reaction to you, and I told her about it. And I'm like, is it not? normal to like enjoy like frozen corn she's like some people don't like it and i was like okay some people meaning just you like no she's saying like just some people don't like it like as in like she understands okay. oh, she, she she also enjoys she, i don't know i've never seen her eat frozen corn i've definitely either seen frozen strawberries which you yeah no, you agree frozen strawberries are fine well, yeah no they're fine they're cr- cr- crunch but like you get like strawberries. imagine that but the co- you agree yeah, but corn is vegetable. sweet yeah but it's a vegetable Corn is like a vegetable. There are you can't you can't put it into a hypothetical. <laughs> <laughs> Hypothetically, there are they're a vegetable. No, no, but I would consider. There it are a certain fruit. foods that are like vegetables, where it's like you can't really lump them in with broccoli and asparagus, right? Yes, you can. That is fully one hundred percent what corn is lumped into. It's like corn, asparagus, broccoli. You have an eggplant. The way I was raised as like corn didn't count as your vegetable, like like it, it's yes, a it vegetable. Did. It's a vegetable. It's because you're when from you, Connecticut. It's but from when you, if you like eat corn with your meal, right? It's like you still have to eat a vegetable. It's like I did. I ate corn. It's like doesn't count. Especially and maybe not corn. It was more potatoes. Potatoes would not count. Potatoes are a hundred percent a vegetable. I know they're a po- they're what vegetable. What is going on in your household? <laughs> who who raised you like this? Who went? Yes, no, not not a vegetable. No, I was told it was a vegetable, but yeah. like it wouldn't because it's like I was told it's a starch, right? I'm yeah. not getting the same benefits as like broccoli. So it's like I still have to eat my your broccoli. It's like if I ate a potato, it's like that's not the same. It's a starch. I'm like it's a vegetable, ma. And she's like, I know it's a vegetable, Ma. but it's a starch, so it doesn't count. You have to eat your broccoli. And I was like, bah. <laughs> and now I love broccoli. I I eat I my broccoli, broccoli raw. I, yeah, yeah, no, because they give those out. Yeah, I like raw broccoli. I love bro- broccoli. Another with another hot range. take. I prefer basically all my vegetables raw. I absolutely I do not like eating cooked vegetables. It really depends on the vegetable for me. I'm not going to lie. Like broccoli, I don't I want cooked. Do Carrots, I don't That's want cooked. It it really depends on what I'm in the mood for cuz like sometimes just putting like butter on them and salt and like that's like a full meal, baby. 
Like, I mean, I'll get corn, one of those. Corn, I do like grilled. Like, grilled corn with butter on it is heaven. Like, have you ever had, like, honey, honey, um, carrots? Honey carrots? Like, you put, like, a honey glaze on carrots um, and they're, like, yes, warm. Yes, yes. Love those. Those are really good. Those are delicious. Potatoes, I will eat any form of them. I love potato. Potato has a surprising amount of forms as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's such, it's probably the most versatile food. No, I agree. No, no. Okay, so no? yes, versatile food. But I'm gonna. Did I mention this last podcast? What I think the best foods are. No, you did not. Okay. So I think the the number one best kind of like food is a sandwich. Okay, I do remember you mentioning a sandwich. Yeah, and, and then how that's. Yes. And then the best dessert is a pie. Okay, I think we had this discussion. There was so much we that happened this, in the yeah. last episode. I do remember. Did we I have agreed. the discussion in the podcast or was it outside of the podcast? Because sometimes oh. we'll talk about things and it'll be outside the podcast and then we'll bring them back in. Yes. <sighs> now I, I'm questioning myself. I don't know. Though I do concur with the pie ideology. Yeah. Pie is the superior dessert. I've been having yes. pie instead <clears throat> of cake for my birthday for the past few years me now. Me too. It's so versatile. You can do literally anything. It cannot just be like sweet it can also be savory like a like a shepherd's pie yeah. or like chicken, chicken pot, pot pie. pie yeah yeah so like pie top tier sandwiches hot cold uh cheese meat the panini anything mm. sandwich yeah so i think those are the best foods and i'll stand by that i agree i for dessert absolutely pie all the way i have yeah. a blueberry pie every year for my birthday it's my favorite Ooh, actually yummy. i love yeah. blueberry pie no. uh favorite like food as much as i love sandwiches i can't have them take the favorite spot really i'm too italian i have to let i'm too italian i have to let pasta take the number one spot yeah yes yes okay how italian are you so on my mom's side i'm basically like it's just 50 percent italian 50 percent like on my dad's side it's like irish and whatever so I'm basically Boo. like half Italian. Not, no offense to the Irish. I'm sorry. As an Italian, I'm very strong opinion towards Italians, and then everyone else is the worst. That's how I was raised. But my mom's side's no, basically as far back as I can go Italian. There's yeah. no like, there's there's no interruption. It's just my my mom is Italian completely. My grandparents are completely Italian. You go further back, you're just in Italy at that point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I love that Italian. I love it. Woo. <coughs> Yahoo! My favorite Italian. <laughs> My favorite Italian. Inspired. Um, every day I wake up and I look at him and I go. I have a poster of Mario above my bed, and that's <laughs> what I wake up to. He's my motivation. I Sometimes I my yeah. alarm goes off in the morning and I feel like I just can't get out of bed that day. <laughs> but I open my eyes and Mario stares back at me, and I know. <laughs> and I know it's gonna be a good day. I know it's time to let's go. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's how I feel every day when I wake up and I and I look at my ceiling and there's Mario and Luigi um, through the power of friendship and family. Ooh, ooh, I just touched my mic. Oh dear. I just killed a viewer. <sighs> a moment of silence for this poor viewer. Bum, bum, bum. Thank you. That was very good. Yeah. Um. I try. Yeah, we just we're at negative two. Yeah. Did we gain any viewers in the past, like, little bit? No, I... Because we were at negative one by the end of last podcast. We were at negative one by the end of last yeah. podcast, so we, we are down negative two viewers. Again, we are paying the platform even more to keep <laughs> the podcast up. <laughs> it's negative it revenue yeah. because we have negative viewership. Jeffrey hired me back, and he's going to fire me again. Yes, it's, take, me. <laughs> it's coming out of our pay. It's a vicious... <laughs> For every dollar that the other Gleason workers make, we get 50 cents because we killed. And now it's at 25 because we yep. killed. We're negative two. And we're, this is all the fun, the podcast. This is so you can be entertained. I only get 25% of what I should be getting paid <laughs> exactly. in order to cover what it takes to pay YouTube to be like, we understand the viewership's negative and we have negative revenue now. Yeah, yeah. So sorry. So sorry. Eventually, we're going to have – YouTube's going to kick us off, and we're going to have to start our own, like, streaming platform. We'll have to make our own <laughs> – our own website to host the podcast. <laughs> Just for, for Gleason and Performing Arts Center, and that's where we – we're going to have to go on Daily Motion. It's not going to be good, guys. 
Yeah, that's for <laughs> that's the the real big ticket items are on Daily Motion. Do you know what I'm talking about? Do you know Daily Motion? Barely, it's vaguely. Like, it's like off brand, off brand YouTube. Yeah. Think of off-brand YouTube. It's off-brand that. I, I think I can see the logo in my head. Yeah, it's like blue and then the white letters. Yeah. 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 That's how I illegally watched a few television shows. <laughs> That's how I watched Merlin. I, for when it comes to television shows, I'm not one to really ever pirate them, but that's also because I don't really watch a whole lot of series. I'm not a huge TV movie guy. Really? Really? Are you? A vi- is it because your video games? It is. Th- that has been changing over mm. the years. I've slowly yeah. begun to play less video games and begun to watch more shows and movies. Like just recently, I got into Breaking Bad, so I'm on season three of Breaking Bad now. Yeah, I don't know what it is about the re-emergence, reassurance, resurgence, re-coming back about Breaking Bad. It's because Better Call Saul ended recently. Better, Better Call be- Saul. It's the so they made a I think it's a prequel. It's the something? prequel to the sequel to the movie. Something like that. Uh, I'm sorry, that's a reference. And I'll show it to you later. I I know the reference. I'm oh, aware. you do? I'm aware. You do it? You like no? You do it? You know it? Yes, it's I've a, definitely heard it. I don't quite remember what it's from. It's from a TikTok, and it's it's like, um, uh, one ticket for the movie. Oh, which one? The movie. Which movie? The movie. Um, it's it's like that one, and then it's like you haven't seen it. Probably. No, I don't think yeah, I have. No, I'll so send I definitely it to you later. heard what you yeah, said. The prequel to the sequel to the movie. Oh. Mm. <laughs> but are you dumb on purpose? That's where I got. Are you dumb on purpose from? <laughs> <laughs> are you dumb on purpose? The prequel <laughs> to the sequel to the movie. <laughs> Shoot, what was I even trying to say? I don't even recall. Breaking Bad, Breaking Bad. Yeah, and you were asking why there's a resurgence. Better Better Call Saul just ended, which is like like you said, the prequel to the sequel to the movie. (laughs) So you know, similar characters that you know follows a different main character doing different stuff, and that just recently ended. So So that's why. So everyone's going back and watching. So everyone's like Jesse. (laughs) Jesse. I love love doing like Walter White impression, but like for absolutely, but like uh, along the lines of like Jesse. Mom told us to take the chicken out of the freezer before she got home. <laughs> Mom's going to be home in 20 minutes to make dinner. Jesse, where is the chicken? <laughs> That's so funny. Is that even like a line? <laughs> or is it just you? No, no, no. That's just like, I just like made that up. Like, I'm certain <laughs> someone like yeah. come up with the, the well, chicken yeah, in the yeah, freezer but idea. Like but the, like, no, no, no. Because every kid experienced that. Did you experience that? Oh, yeah, absolutely. That was the most terrifying Wait, like you hear the thing. garage yeah. door open. And it's like, like, oh, God. <laughs> and you have to like run and like sprint to go mm-hmm. take like whatever was supposed to be or like cook it. Because mm-hmm. I know like that happened when I was like supposed to be like cooking something for a little bit. And then like my mom come home because I'd be like, oh, I have enough time. It mm-hmm. cooks in this amount of time. Yeah, I got enough time. It's like five o'clock. And it's like, yeah, I got time. Yeah. This is me when I got time. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And then it's 530 and it's like, oh, I got to started on that in about a minute or so. And then 545, the garage door <laughs> opens. And you're like, oh, God, I have no time. It's the reckoning. Uh, and then you just get beat. <laughs> Listen, that's how the Italian household rolls. <laughs> you don't have the pasta in there boiling. They beat you with a wooden spoon. Mm. Or if you're, it, that's if you're lucky, if you don't get the rolling pin. <laughs> oh, my gosh. My dad one time held up because he was going to threaten me with a rolling pin. Uh-huh. But then he grabbed the wrong one because we have a wood one. And then we have like a marble one. <gasps> and he like grabbed it. And I was like, father, What? Um, and he was like, oh, shoot. Um, Why do you have a marble rolling Because when you, like, want to make, like, it's, like, heavier, and so it'll weigh down more. Okay. And it's, like, smoother because wood is more, like, grainy Yeah, yeah. And it's, like, lighter. Where Unless you have, like, that good wood, and then it – good wood. Um, why did you make that face? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Yucky. Face. Yucky. Anyway, um, I forgot where I was going with this story. Something about a really heavy rolling pin. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so when you have like a really heavy rolling pin, that's nice because it's like thick wood. <laughs> Can we keep this in? <laughs> Uh, We 
we can we can keep it in. If not, we'll 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 cut to messages. <laughs> we'll cut the the messages we don't have. <laughs> the messages we don't have. Hey, where are your submissions for our, our sounds? Do you want to give us money? Sponsor us. Let's make a Patreon. Um. What and would the Patreon <laughs> fund? Because we already have all the equipment. We, we are the yeah. we we are the performing arts center. It's not like I I need funds for more lighting and cameras. It's just like maybe Jeff, it's like Jeff. What the what am I doing, <laughs> Jeff? And it's like I'll help you. We can't profit from this, can we? I I mean, we can make it know. on our own accord, and I don't think we can like plug it. Um, <laughs> but we could like for like tips and then like every time we have like a special guest star we can we can tip it three ways we should make money off of this let's make mer- we were talking about making merch we were at least podcast like shirts for us and then if we get like really really popular we'll we'll sell merch and that'll be like no that's not a patreon we'll just have a merch store yeah i guess more money goes to Glacier. so long that you know the the three dollars that you guys gift us yeah, so long as we get our viewership explodes <laughs> like we're planning to yeah when yeah. we're making the podcast we're like it's all about the views <laughs> about the i views. have no original thoughts or ideas i'm going to look up <laughs> podcast tutorial copy paste the entire script from WikiHow, and then we're going to profit that's step three step three is profit <laughs> florida tech and every other university in the world is so against plagiarism but not us baby Mm-mm. we love to copy and paste we su- we support it to the fullest i am staring into a teleprompter <laughs> <laughs> they just told me to laugh just now they, they told t- us to be happy they told me to giggle a little and almost <laughs> cut her off but then start talking again yeah they're saying move around and like do some wiggling to really keep the thing moving and the weird part is they're telling us to narrate <laughs> what we're doing now and it's just describing itself I wonder if I wasn't supposed to copy this part of the <laughs> script. This might be like the part that's supposed to be an asterisk that's like an action. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. They put in parentheses, but you didn't see the parentheses. So you're like, now sit up and sit down and yep. talk into the mic and then look away for a little bit. We do, fun fact, have a teleprompter behind the camera. Like, So the camera's there. Behind is the teleprompter. Up mm. above. Uh, shout out to Zen for letting us use the studio. Um, Thank you, Zen. I got a note from Zen. Um, right. You saw. I did so, see. <clears throat> a, I hope Zen doesn't watch this because now he's going to know. But I've been leaving. He knows because he'll find some of them. But I've been leaving like little notes that are like, remember, be nice to Rena. Be nice to Rena, Zen. Please be nice to Rena. Remember to be nice to Rena on little sticky notes. And I've been sticking them like a menace around the studio, like just going around. And like, I'll hide them. And he has found like, three or four like the other day they came in early in the morning and ed, they they grabbed the clacker and ed looked at it and there was one of the sticky notes he was like haha this is so funny he put it up on like a box and zen came out and he went damn it Rena, <laughs> a fire hazard <laughs> <laughs> and so it got me in more trouble than i was supposed to be in because i was just writing him notes and i have to have like maybe 10 to 15 sticky notes around the studio like with remember to be nice to Rena. Anyway, so the note that I got got back says, watch yourself, heart zen, because I'll always be like, remember to be nice to Rena, heart Rena. <laughs> and I'm, I'm so happy. It's so funny. I found it on the back of the camera because I, like, I hit record, and there it was, and I was like, he knew I'd find it. It's so funny to me. I do love the, the slight passive-aggressive nature of love zen. <laughs> Yeah. It's very zen of zen to do that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, it was really funny because zen, once again, don't listen to this. Plug your ears. Um, <laughs> do what he did. Yeah. Um, Jeff was in the studio helping us set up the new like podcast area and stuff. And um, he uh, looked at me and he was like, Rena, I would tell you to stop. But I also like making zen stress out. And I think it's funny. So <laughs> I'm not going to stop you. Or, or something along that lines. And I was like, nice. Good. Uh, so I enjoyed. Why was that good? Good. Ooh. Excellent. <laughs> Down. Uh, if you. Do you guys like my shark cup? I've, I've been drinking out of it because my throat is getting really dry. Last podcast, I was miserable. 
Oh. Like, I was just talking, and, like, my throat was immensely dry. I've been quite hydrated throughout today, so yeah. I'm, I'm not dying. I did, <coughs> however, forget my my cup That's back so at sad. my room. We should, get, we should get mugs, custom mugs, that are, like, podcast reboot, mm. G-Pack reboot. I think that'd be so funny. Yep. And we'll just have, like, either nothing or we'll have, like, water in there. <laughs> we'll have absolutely nothing in there. Um, maybe we'll put, like, some flowers in there or something. <laughs> yeah, flowers in the mud. We'll put, like, pens or something. Uh, every once in a while <coughs> you look in and there's, like, a rubber duck. I think that'd be hilarious. Like, it's the late night show. That would be, you know, Jeff was telling us we need props yeah, for the, the podcast. Yeah. It's just we have the G-Pack reboot mugs and we just change what's in them every episode <laughs> jeff told us to use more props and use our surroundings so we brought cardi b with us <laughs> we brought grv's battery <laughs> we will be we expecting brought- a phone call from jeffrey any minute now asking why grv <laughs> won't start or charge or respond in any capacity both of the golf cart chargers and we've left them out front on <laughs> on accident and so now they're looking for the chargers and i'm pretty sure we're gonna get a text in the group chat soon saying does anyone know where the chargers are? <laughs> Guys, the golf carts are almost dead. Where are the chargers? <laughs> I could have sworn we left them where we normally do. And then I simply respond with the skull emoji. <laughs> <laughs> I say, but Jeff, the props. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff. Jeff, look, isn't it so entertaining? <laughs> we send the text at the same time, but his sends first and, and the other one is like us with like <laughs> thumbs up with the chargers. Yeah. And we're like, <laughs> ready to podcast. Woo. <laughs> yeah, that'd be so funny. Um, <laughs> Jeff, you told us to use our surroundings, so we brought your entire wife. <laughs> <laughs> Enti- why do you have to specify entire? Was he worried we were going to take half? Yeah, we took half of your wife, Jeff. She's standing in the background. On one leg. Are you sure? <laughs> it's only half of her. Oh, were you splitting her down the middle? I was splitting her in, like, uh, I was uh, saying, like, it's either her torso or her legs. When people say split down the middle, like, in terms of a person, they always almost mean, like, horizontally across the waistline. But when I think of in half, I think symmetrical. So I've always thought down the middle. Well, yeah, like, split down the middle, that's what I'm thinking. But, like, cut in half, like, that's when I I think it's, like, chopped. Regardless, <laughs> not ideal. It'd be, <laughs> it'd be like an ouchie. Yeah? Yeah, I think so. I think it'd okay. hurt. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't tried. Yeah, you haven't. Do you want to? Do we have Do we have the, the time and the tools? <laughs> the rest of the podcast is dedicated to us finding the tools and standing back there against the green screen. <laughs> I'm going to the wood shop and I'm grabbing a saw. <laughs> uh, let's check into like one of the engineering buildings with their like, we're getting a soldering iron. I think we might be getting a soldering iron in for G-Pack? Gleason. Yeah. Oh, that should be fun. Yeah, Ed has been begging for one. I think that's right. I, I do remember yeah. him like staring at some circuits. He's like, I could solder this back on, but we don't have a soldering iron. I know he sent it's he sent a a thing, a soldering iron, and it looked like like baby's first soldering iron. Like <laughs> it was like in the block colors <laughs> of like the little tyke. Um, yeah, a little tight or Yeah, you know what I'm talking about? I do. I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it looked like. It was so funny. I always love like the, the edits m- people make of like babies yeah. first, but it's like something <laughs> that a baby should never uh, a grown adult should never ever have. Like baby's first <laughs> meth lab. <laughs> baby's first guillotine. I yeah. saw that. Yep, yeah, baby's yeah, first yeah. guillotine. I love those. My Did friend owns just... a guillotine. Okay. Uh, yeah? Yeah. He built it. Well, his dad built it. They yeah. celebrate Bastille Day. They cut fruit with it. That's it's very fun. I have some crazy. slow-mo videos, I think, of, like, a watermelon just... That might be on my old phone, actually. That's wild. Um, Can I tell you a pet peeve that I have that okay. you just did? Okay. Okay. So when I mispronounce a word, someone pronouncing it again in the sentence to fix the word, like I said guillotine and you said guillotine? <coughs> I noticed you said guillotine. Yeah. I couldn't tell if it was, like... Uh... Guillotine is my brooch. Okay. I see. Yeah. I thought it was There's maybe a dialect thing. Like, I'm in Florida now. It's like, all right, it's guillotine. <laughs> I just, I accepted it as fact. And I was like, but I'm going to own her with my New England fancy talk and not pronounce the L's. <laughs> There's L's in there. You can't tell me it's not guillotine. It's French. Blech. 
Um, no offense to the French tu people. Tu ne parles pas though. français? No, thank you. You don't pronounce any of the letters in French. Yeah, I forgot that French is just a few vowels mixed together. Mm. And then, like, that's what you pronounce. And then the the word is spelled with unnecessary consonants. When I found out that we doesn't have a W in it, <laughs> my world was shattered. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, you, oh, I. Yeah. We. We. I don't know how the heck it makes the what sound. <laughs> Because in because they feel like it. We go out, O U. Yep. But it'd be owie. Owie. <laughs> owie. Man, but then they're just owie. Like, they're like, mm, we. I don't understand French. I could never, and I will never. No, I t- I took French for in high school and mid- a bit of yeah. middle school too. Yeah, j'ai tout dit français pour carton. How do you still know that? What did you just say? I said I studied French for four years. That's insane. Mm-hmm. Um. I did ASL 1 and 2 in high school and then 1 and 2 Ooh. in college. So I can still kind of do ASL. I don't practice as much as I would like to, though. Oh, yeah. I don't practice French. I think I just said all of it. that I remember. <laughs> You know that you remember? I, I can, like, I have a, a few words that I can, like, throw together every once in a while. Yeah. And I'm like, I could say that in French if I wanted to. <laughs> I could definitely say that phrase just now. It's one of my French. favorite bits. To, like especially yeah. from like Willy Wonka where he just starts he'll just like say something in a different language and everyone's like huh yeah like uh, whatever whatever Wonkatania and everyone's like looking at him weird I always wanted to be able to do that but the, the issue is you have to know another <laughs> yeah, language yeah. <laughs> so that you can just pull it out so you can just like be German and, <laughs> but the, the 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 dedication required to learn another language I could not continue with French not that I was super passionate about it. I did it yeah. mainly because I needed a language. Uh, I miss uh, ASL. I loved American Sign Language. I had like a deaf tutor and everything. I went to a few deaf events. It was super cool. But then like I lost the time. And then down here, I can't practice with anyone. Uh, And so it's like I'm slowly but surely losing it, which makes me really, really sad. It is always sad to see like your talents like degrade or whatever as you like don't practice them. Stop. I'm going to (laughs) cry. Yeah, this is not a fun. It's supposed to be a funny podcast. It's not <laughs> yeah. supposed to be talking about like, oh, I'm losing everything. <laughs> we could have we could have a bonus episode. That's on the Patreon where we you see us talk about sad things and we cry for a little bit. Mm. Yeah. I wonder if I can say, JP say that is G like G P A C, but the French alphabet. Yeah. Which is it's the same alphabet. You just the letters are all weird. Yeah, they're funky. Though I really do enjoy W, which is W. <laughs> w. It's double V. That's so funny. Um, that's actually hilarious. Yeah. French is cool. French is cool. I want to learn Italian, of course, because I'm Italian. 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 Yeah, those are my muscles. Mm. Oh, my gosh. I'm so tired. I'm so low energy right now, but that's because I got up at, like, 7 a.m. to go to a doctor's office and and it wasn't fun it was literally like my voice is owie can you fix it and they were like no (laughs) uh and i was like okay and they were like leave and i went okay i'm a doctor not a miracle worker (laughs) out of my office (laughs) and they punched me shoved me out i'm out on the streets i i had to i came here i got a coffee and then I've just felt very, and I've been staring at a computer screen all day because I've been editing the podcast. That's right. That's You've been all- dedicating your life to editing that first episode of the podcast. Yeah, because like, because I was just going to let it go. I was just going to let it be like a podcast. And then Jeffrey Gleason and Ed were like, oh, you're not going to edit it. And I went, what? And they're like, you're not going to do silly little things. And the videos that came before us, they were also in DaVinci Resolve. And so they also had the little editing effect. And, but of course they were like, 17 minute videos and so of course you can edit it to to like be funny and do funny things this is an hour hour and a half of us doing stuff and you're gonna sit here and ask for effects gpack unfiltered (laughs) uncensored uncut and you want it to be sparkly (laughs) do you know how much time that takes edward (laughs) edward Jefferson, you don't understand how much time and energy I took to make you happy. How much of my life is gone? <laughs> I could have been doing other things. Podcast. 
I didn't do too much. I mean, I, I did I did some of, like, the fancier stuff. like the Yeah, like, all of the fancy animation, around. he did, like, the that raccoon with the parachute and the hat moving up. What else did you do? Oh, I, did you see the raccoon with the parachute? Did you actually see the clip? Yeah, yeah, yeah I yeah. did. I loved it. It was, I lost it. I was looking for uh, a parachute, and then I had the ingenious idea. I'm like, it'd be way funnier if I give it a Fortnite glider. Yeah, it was hilarious. I loved it. I thank you. I thank you. I try my best. Thank you. Thank you very much. What else did you do? I know you did one more thing, and it was, oh, it was the monologue, and just slowly zooming in over time. Yes. That was it. My favorite ones that I did were too tough. Yes. That was good. Um, Raccoon Olympics, that one was really good. There were a few more that I did, but, like, those are the ones that I remember that I really, really liked. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, those are my prides and joys. I learned how to put images into DaVinci Resolve. And let me tell you, I took it and I ran. That and text, those are my things. I can do a little, like, close-up clips, but that's where my skill goes to. Well, I enjoy with your creative process when editing is how you'll just be doing whatever with the headphones on and then just out of nowhere go, DaVinci? <laughs> Like, well, all, I, I don't even think you realized, like, you, you said it, and we all, like, turned, and, kind of, like, Ed and Jeff just kind of, like, laughed under their breath, because <laughs> they're like, what? <laughs> like, you were just, we were just, it was before, <laughs> it was after Jasmine, like, before we came here, you are just like, Da Vinky? <laughs> With your headphones on, so you didn't hear any of it. I think I, I've done that a few times, because I'll be, like, looking at it, and, like, something will go wrong, and I'll go, Da Vinky? I do a lot of that. Because in my head, I'm in my head because I'm wearing the headphones and so like that's, but it's all coming out of my mouth. And so I'll be sitting there and I'm like, gosh darn it. Or no, don't do that. Or no, thank you. As I'm like, as it's messing up. And then like, I realize that I'm saying it out loud and I turn around and I'm like, Jeff is on the phone and I'm like, I'm so sorry. They had to sit there the entire day listening to my creative process of Ed, Ed, I need help. Ed, what's going on? Why did it do that? It's broken. <laughs> Our podcast is <laughs> broken. I had to have Ed save me so many times when I was making this podcast. How so? Because it would, like, do weird things. The text would mess up. Um, like, I don't know why, but it wouldn't line to the left and, cause it, and it, like, cut off halfway through the text. Yeah, I remember. Like, yeah, and then... It was, there were other things like it would zoom in or like something would disappear or something. And I'd be like, where did it go? What's going on? And I would like control Z, but nothing was working. And so I'm like, I don't know what it's doing. <laughs> so I would be like, can someone help me, please? I did. I, I did definitely have to learn a few more things in DaVinci when yeah. we were doing all that stuff. It, it's not, it wasn't my first time using it. Right. Uh, but it was my first time trying to do that stuff without accidentally doing it. <laughs> Because I've done, I've done a few things in DaVinci Resolver. I'm like, huh? I, I didn't ask you to do that. But I'm not going to. I'm not going to complain. I mean, I'm not going to complain. It's good. not a bug. It's a feature. Mm -hmm. And it stays. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, DaVinci is probably one of my worst enemies besides Microsoft Teams, which Jeffrey insists we use. I Very can't say I have major complaints with either. Besides the fact that Microsoft Teams will just randomly freeze my playthrough of Spider-Man Remastered on my computer. Every time I got a Teams notification, <laughs> the game would visually would freeze. Everything else was happening in the background, but I couldn't see what was happening. And I was in a call with my friends as I was playing. I was, like, showing them my playthrough. And then it'd be like, oh, I got a Microsoft Teams <laughs> notification. <laughs> and then the games were, it would be like Blake. He's like, can I have this shift? And it's just like, I'm like, I'm trying to do the stealth section, Blake. <laughs> Yeah. I don't know if you even care. <laughs> you should in the next time be like, can you guys tone it down a little? I'm trying to play spider <laughs> I'm trying to play. I'm trying to. I'm doing something kind of important right now. <laughs> See, I'm I'm Miles Morales now. And I'm going to need, need you, you to stop. chill out. I went into class. I was in my art history class. I hate that class. I was in my art history class. And I'm sitting there. And all of a sudden, I get out of class. And I have. 59 notifications in teams i open it and it is the most 
useless junk I've ever seen. So I'm sitting here like, oh, something's going on in the group chat. Something's crazy going on. Someone needs help, blah, blah, blah. I can't wait to read. All of a sudden, it's like memes, and people are going off, and I'm like, what is happening? Why? Yeah, that happens. I'm pretty sure you can set it to only notify you when you get pinged. And not that I have, yeah, though, because I'm worried. Yeah, yeah, I'm worried I'm just going to get, like, <clears throat> I'm going to miss something where I only get name dropped and not yeah. actually mentioned in the thing. Where it'll be like, hey, everyone, make sure you wear your blacks yeah, for tonight. Yeah, like, everyone wears blacks it. after 1 p.m. And that doesn't name drop anyone. And so I'm like, oh, shoot. So I have to, like, scroll through and be like, where is this stuff? And I, I really want to avoid that because of the two times I showed up to, like, an event and I was just wearing, like, the Coca-Cola t-shirt. <laughs> and Jeff's like, hey, you were supposed to wear blacks to this. And I was like. I was like, yeah. oh, I'll be 10 minutes. And I'm like, full oh, speed to Roberts Hall. Yeah. It was just like 10, a mm, little less than 10 minute walk from Gleason. I, I've i been sprint. impressed <laughs> by my my time between Gleason and Roberts Hall when it was I need my blacks. Because I'd show up to my shift early Yeah. for those events. And so I would have time to mm. theoretically make it back in time. So I had motivation. Right. So right. I was cruising. <laughs> My favorite thing is when we're on stage and the phone will ring and we're like, Alex, go, go, go. And you'll like take a full sprint. And I try to time you every single time. I try. It, I sw- Every time I try and run to the desk, it either ends or it's not even the desk phone. It'll be like, like what just happened today where it was only Ed's phone. Yeah, it was so weird. We were sitting there devinking, resolving. Mm-hmm. And all of a sudden the phone rings and we're like, oh, okay, we'll go answer it. We go, we use Jeff's phone, and like, hello, blah, 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 blah. That wasn't the phone that was ringing. It was Ed's? Only Ed's. Ed's yeah. and Ed's alone. When I answer Ed's phone, because it rang again like a minute later, I'm like, oh, Gleason Performing Arts Center, Alex speaking. Nothing. Just silence. I was like, it's like a hello? Ghost. <laughs> Ooh, it's me. Normally, either people call, yeah. and then they'll like, they're just like okay whatever we can't reach them but like mm. they called again so i have to uh, imagine there was yeah. some sense of urgency and then after i picked it up they didn't call again so you uh, went i'm alex and they went no thank you i wanted ed <laughs> they went, Where's ed right now give me edward i just wanted to say hi <laughs> uh my favorite thing is the nicknames that we give all of our bosses mm. like jeff i called jeffathan jeffrey joffrey um Jeffethy. I refuse to believe his last name's anything but Gleason <laughs> as founder and owner of Gleason Performing Arts Center. Thank of course. you, Jeffrey, for founding and um, making Gleason Performing Arts Center. We really appreciate you. I just killed a viewer. I just knocked into my microphone with my chin. I have no pay left. <laughs> <laughs> it's all going towards it's keeping the podcast to, to up due to the negative viewership. I did it to us, guys. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, you two. I'm sorry, g I'm sorry, Jeffrey, Ed, and Zen. I'm not sorry, Zen. You left me a really <laughs> good note. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm sorry to all of my, my co-workers. Speaking of Zen, I'm so proud of Zenjamin. Like the, like, the, like the the idea of Zenjamin. Yeah. I just came up with that on the spot when that we were heading really to the, the back. the Not back room. I, I can't just say back room now. It means something it like else. A, it was like a weird. The board of trustees room. Yeah. It was like a secret room because normally it's like all in the Hartley room. Have you never been there? No. I had to do a, I had to do something else there before. Yeah. It wasn't my first time in that room. I knew it was there. I mean, don't get me wrong. Did I, how did I work before you and never been in the room, but you have? That's what I'm surprised that about. That is insane. I didn't even know that was back there. Yeah, no. I, I walk had to, in, and this was a new experience. Last semester, it was like the same setup. It was me and Ian. We were taking those like microphone mm-hmm. thingies, and they still had like their little snacks up, and the guy's like, I have to take these uh, away soon, but no one's going to eat them, so they're, they're yours uh, you for, as snackies? far as I care. Yum, 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 yum. Oh, I went after those lemon squares and yeah, so on and so forth. Oh, yeah. It... It, the taste of crime was sweeter than the taste of any dessert I could ever have. Even though like, he said it was fine. <laughs> I, mm, the, I keep hitting my mic. The taste of crime. That was such a wonderful line. Um, is sweeter than any dessert. I think that's really philosophical. It is. Um, we'll make a t-shirt and we'll profit off of it greatly. <laughs> that, that's that's on the that's on the back. It's like like and subscribe. The taste of crime is sweeter <laughs> than any dessert. G pack reboot. <laughs> <laughs> 
I hope the original Blake and Josh see that and they're like, <laughs> yeah, what has happened? Like, what is going on? They're going to look at the G-Pack YouTube page. Like, we should send this to them. We should. And they have to, like, watch the mess that it has become. Yeah, they're like, oh, we'll, we'll make this podcast. We'll talk about Gleason and inform people what it is and yeah, what we do here. Things, yeah. And then we show up and we're like, what if you were locked in Walmart? <laughs> we'd be like, what are your thoughts on... We didn't even talk. Okay, so we don't have the time to talk about duck portation. We were really hanging on a string, like pulling you guys along. Mm. Like last time we were like, please let us talk to you about duck portation. I have the idea. I go duck portation. And then I look over. It's 722. And we're like, shoot. Um, so next episode. Next episode. We'll talk about we will cover duck portation. Duck I'll put portation. it in my. I yeah. started making like an actual talking point thing. Did you? Thing. And There's you didn't only bring it out? No, I, I used both talking points. I, I came up with two. It was being locked in a store in smart appliances. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's really good. Yeah. Okay, I really like so that. I'll, I'm gonna I'll, come up with some other topical things. We'll talk about topical things. We're planning right now, so yeah, I get. I guess mm. be done. I don't know. We'll talk about topical things. We'll talk about yeah. other things. Duck portation. Duck is portation on the list. It's on the list. It's gonna it's happen. It's there. We're gonna tell you about the future, and you guys are gonna be so surprised. You're gonna be super excited. You're going to get ahead on the curve. Consider this yeah. insider trading, but That's legal because we're not actually on the inside <laughs> and we can't guarantee any of it will actually happen. But it was revealed to me in a dream <laughs> that it will happen. So it's, it's basically confirmed. It's like the the Back to the Future. Like, I think it was two where he gets like all of the, the, the sports sport magazines yeah, yeah, and yeah. to go back and, and then, bet on the, the exactly, right sports teams. Yep. Exactly. That's basically what we're doing here. Instead of time travelers, uh, sources, I made it up. Yeah. <laughs> But you Sources, can trust me. we riffed on it, and we thought it was really good. Mm, yeah, That, too. All right, so I think we are just about out of time, if you want to clap off with me. Of course. Ready? One, two, three, clap! All right, Yay. that one. All done. <laughs>